Okay, so these are our letters. Now, if I want um, to write them inside the, the words, as we have seen in the other letters, I need to connect them together in order to make one word. So, uh, we have an initial, middle, and end form of each letter, as we have seen with the last ones. But um, the thing that um, makes these letters unique and make, made me put them in one group is that they are never connected from the left. So from the left side, I never have a helping line, but I keep a small space between them and the letters that come afterwards. What I mean is, if this is my line, I begin writing the alif at the beginning of the word like this, and nothing comes from the left side. In the, oh, I need to make the line another color, so this um, can be clearer for you. So, alif, I should have had a helping line here to connect it with the, with the letter that comes afterwards, but since this whole group of six letters is um, the letters are never connected from the left, so I don't need a helping line. In the middle form of this letter, I have a helping line from the right, and then the alif, the writing the alif, and then nothing from left. The ending alif is exactly like this, and it finishes. So you see here, no helping line, no helping line. Let's see the dal. This is my line, and I begin writing the dal. Of course, also here, no helping line. Here, helping line from the right. Dal and nothing comes afterwards. Dal at the end is like this. Again, the dal is the same but with a dot above it. Helping line dal and nothing comes here. And helping line dal, finishing the word. The same thing with this ra, ze, and wa, only that these go underneath the line. So uh, if this is my line and I want to write the ra, ra then I have to go from above, leaning my uh, my line, and then go right there underneath the line. And then helping line down, helping line, and here we go. This is the ra. I'm going to have to erase the first um, letters to continue with the next ones. So, I still have to write the Z, which looks a lot like the Ra, but with a dot above it, and the Wow. So, if I begin writing the Z, it's the same. No helping line from left. Helping line from right, Z, and I go on. Z at the end. Wow is the same thing, but Wow has a small circle above the line, and then I go down. Helping line, Wow. Helping line, Wow. This is the first missing group of my... Um, past videos, alif, del, del, ra, zay, wa. Remember, what they have in common is that they are never, never connected from the left. So it, whenever I need to write um, another letter in the word that comes after one of these letters, it's never connected. For example, the word um, door is the word bab in Arabic. Now, if I want to write bab in Arabic, I should begin with the b, keep it open, and then write the alif and never connect the alif with the next bad that comes here. So we always find a space between the alif and what comes afterwards. And the same is uh, applied for the other, the rest of this uh, letters of this group. So bad means door, okay? A small space, keep a small space because it's not, uh, we don't want to admit, uh, like to get confused with um, letters of the next uh, word, right? So we have to keep a small space in order to know that, to understand that this other letter that comes afterwards belongs to the same um, um, word. Okay, so um, next and last group that I missed is the group made out of five letters, which are the G, which is written like this, Ha, like this without any dot, Ha, same, but with a dot above it. Ha, just a circle. And meme, a small circle, and I go downstairs. Downstairs. Oh, below, sorry. The meme, I can write the meme like this with the circle underneath the line. Um, I prefer, I, I mean, I advise you to do this one and not this one. You will understand why later. 
but um, this is why I what I advise you to do. And keep in mind that the circle of the meme is much smaller than the circle of the half, so it's a little bit small. Okay, so this is the gym. Ha. Remember, only pushing air outside of our mouth. Ha. Ha. Very strong. Ha. And meme. M. Okay? So, these letters are written. I'm going to go quickly because I don't have a lot of time for making all um, everything in one video. So, Jim is, it loses the part that goes underneath the line and I continue with the line. So, what, what, they, what these letters have in common is only the, their writing. They are a little bit similar here. So, they don't have really actu actually, uh, they don't sound the same, but they have... Um, almost the same shape. So this is the jim. Jim in the middle of the word, helping line, and I write the jim, and I go on. At the end, it goes back to its original form, so like this, help with the helping line, and it's dot in the middle. Remember that this here, this symbol, is not actually a triangle, but it's somewhat like a triangle, but um, this side is much longer than this side. Okay, this is how you write a correct gene. My colors are very bad. Okay, so it's not actually a triangle like this, but one line, one very longer, longer line, and like this, and a dot underneath it. Okay, so this is my gene. Remember that they lose, when we are writing them inside the words, they lose the part that goes underneath it. So I'm going to go quickly to the next ones, which are the ha, same thing as the gene, but without any dot. Helping line, I write the gym and I go on. At the end, it's the same helping line, and it goes back to its original form. Remember here, you can keep it open, okay, like this, and you can close it like this. I prefer this one, and look what you prefer to close it or to open it. It, it doesn't make a lot of difference. It's the same letter. The same way, I'm sorry, this is the Kha, which has a dot above it. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Okay, so the next letter is the Kha that has a lot, a dot above it. So, Kha at the beginning, Kha in the middle, and Kha at the end of the word, same thing. Then we have the Ha, Kha, like this. It's like an at at hotmail, da, 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 da. so I will teach you a sm uh, easy way to do it is big circle, small circle, and I go on. Here in the middle it has a helping line from the right. So how to write the ha is big, small, and I go on. Big, small, and I go on. At the end of the word it takes this form, which is the normal edge, or this other form, like this and, uh, and that, like this. I'm sure you know which one do we use with uh, with which letters. So this one we use it with the letters that are never connected from the left. As you see, we don't have helping line here. And this one we connect it with all other letters that are usually connected. And this this is why we have a helping line. Okay. Let's go quickly to the meme. Meme like this and like this. It loses the part that goes underneath the line. Okay. So we said that the meme can be also like this. Meme in the middle, helping line, meme, and like this. Only at the end, helping line, meme, and it goes back to its original form. So, these are the jim, ha, 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 and meme. Okay, so that was um, the last video about all the Arabic alphabet, on um, how writing um, the whole alphabet in Arabic, and um, I hope you liked it. If you need to ask me anything, if something is not clear, because I made it quickly, but I wanted to do it all in one video, so if something is not clear, you can always comment that, uh, below, or you can send me a message, and I can always explain to you anything you need. Um, by now, you should be able to write anything in Arabic and to read anything in Arabic, so um, keep sure that you study and repeat and write and try to continue um, training yourself on the Arabic writing and um, stay tuned because I'm gonna um, add much more videos 
um, but advanced ones. So by now I need you to study and to have memorized by now everything, all the Arabic letters. Um, that's all. So I hope you like it. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.